Everybody, how you guys doing today? So I'm chilling up in my room, just kind of like relaxing a little bit. Uh, I get a bunch of questions. Uh, well, not a bunch of questions, but I get a certain question asked a bunch of times. And it has to do uh, with the Desire 601 and the belief structure of will we ever see Android L? Will we ever see uh, KitKat 4.4.4? And um, I really quick, I hate to break it for a lot of people. But no, you won't see these updates. Um, you know, and, and I could be wrong. I'm not going to sit here and say with 100% that I, like, I know everything. I don't know everything. Sorry, my thumb got in the way. Jeez, um, where can I hold this right? Okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't know everything. Um, not this, you know, big time guru that can just tell tell it all. I know enough to say what I say on YouTube and... Um, speaking from past experience, I've never really seen too much of a mid-tier or low-tier device get a lot of attention like flagships do. See, that's been like one of the biggest things that people have had, you know, frustration with uh, Android and everything is that flagships are the ones that get mostly everything. Flagship devices are the ones that get at least two updates and flagships are the ones that get the most support. And even great phones like the Desire 601, which people would think like, oh my god, this phone's definitely going to get Android L and probably even the next one. Uh, they get left in the dark. They really do. Which is why like, I, you know, I appreciate all the developers on XDA and out there in the world who just, you know, on their spare time when they really don't have to, go out of their way to make updates for us, like to bring us operating systems that weren't even built for our device to keep us up to date to keep us current and um, so that's uh, that's pretty much the, the method and that's the reason why I do custom ROM videos is to show off these developers their work you know the the hard time that they put into it to get us you know these updates deserves an audience and so that's why I do what I do on YouTube besides t you know blogging about Android and stuff and um, it, yeah, it's a cold reality. It's tough. Some people don't want to accept it, but that's how it is. And you know, if, if we do get Android L on the Desire 601, I, you know, I would probably do backflips um, because that would be a rare thing to see. But do I honestly believe that they will? Like HTC actually bring an official update for the Desire 601? No, because it's not the One M7 or the One M8, and it's not you know whatever's coming out this uh, October, November. Uh, through HTC, it's, it's none of that. I mean, the 816 has a better chance of getting Android L than the 601 does. And, um, yeah, that's the, that's the hard reality. So thank you for watching this quick video. Um, leave me your, you know, your thoughts about it in the comment section of this video. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this.